Well, you check your children's report cards to see how they're doing in subjects like math and science. But what would you do if your kids... Can we cut that weird music? Thank you. What would you do if your kids came home with a report card saying, they're fat? Well, that's exactly what happened to nine-year-old Shelby Sumner after undergoing a body mass index screening at her Massachusetts elementary school. Look at this. To have a piece of paper like this come home in their backpack with them was very, very concerning to me. I think I'm, I would be considered big for my grade and age, but definitely not overweight. Amen, Shelby. But just wait, just in case you think this is just her problem. Soon, every one of us may be getting these report cards. Dr. Keith Ablo is a psychiatrist and a member of the Fox News Health Medical A-Team. All right, Doc, so let's start with Shelby, and then we'll get to how this is about to happen to you and me, thanks to Uncle Sam. Uh, Shelby Absolutely. says she's, she's not fat, and she's right, but what happened is, thanks to the Massachusetts, uh, I don't know, the... the the state basically has mandated that every kid get their BMI, their body mass index, measured. And they basically just take your height and your weight, do a calculation, and then if you fall within a certain category, they send home a note telling your parents, you're fat. What does this do to a kid? Well, first of all, uh, not only the child, him or herself, but parents may or may not be prepared how to handle this. Uh, even doctors aren't sure when to act on body mass index and what to do to intervene. So number one, the child's self-esteem is at risk. Number two, the child's relationship with his or her parent is being impinged upon by, guess what, the state of Massachusetts who apparently feel the government here as though they ought to be the parents when it comes to health care. No surprise, really, government does these things. Let me ask you this, doctor. It, you know, it, as with any overweight person, Usually, no one needs to tell you that you're overweight. You know it better than anybody, especially in today's day and age with little kids who are so cruel to one another. Is there any doubt that if you, if you stumble upon a child who actually is overweight, he or she already knows it? Well, look, here's the thing. Of course, these kids are sensitive to this to begin with. And, and we all know that if you take kids who are overweight to some extent as children and then you track them into adulthood, some of them don't end up as obese. Many of them don't. So, number one, these kids aren't prepared. It can erode the relationship with teachers. This is a piece of paper being given to you by your teacher that says, hey, you got to work harder. You're not in good shape. So am I judged? Will I be liked? Won't I be liked? My peers, will they know? Embarrassment can set in. And not only that, but it erodes the relationship between a child and his or her parent. Yeah. This is a family matter. And unless you do it with a caliper that actually squeezes like the fat on the back of your arm, they're not doing that. They're doing height and weight, you know, combination math. That, that doesn't account for muscle weighing more than fat, like Shelby's a gymnast, for example. But let me ask you this, because uh, this, is, this is very disturbing. It's not just Shelby. Uh, our own federal government in the stimulus plan that was passed has a portion under section 3001 of the stimulus bill that creates an office uh, that now apparently on page 61 of this thing they give themselves the power to monitor every american's body mass index or bmi which estimates your body weight so now we could all be getting a letter i guess potentially from uncle sam saying hey ablo kelly you're fat Absolutely, and this is to be part of the electronic medical record that is to be maintained by every physician in every hospital, or you will be at risk for penalties from the federal government financially. And so basically, Megan, this is number one a problem given your body mass index. That's one area that the state has no business, but it paves the way psychologically for people to not resist the state being involved in many arenas, blood sugar levels, uh, intelligence testing, genetic testing. It's just the, the least offensive in some ways of many interventions that the federal government could say, well, look, we've already broken that ice, haven't we? Yeah, I, I got to go. I need a quick answer. But you know, they do say, especially in kids, uh, obesity is on the rise, leads to cardiovascular disease, diabetes. One in three kids is already obese. And adults, you know, the same story. Americans are fatter than ever. Your, your thoughts? Uh, handle it as a family, and here's a good opportunity for autonomy. Tell your kids when the teachers say, I've got to have your body mass index measured, have them say, no, thank you, I, d I refuse. I'll do that at home with my parents if they tell me it's appropriate. Oh, I love it. Love it. Dr. Keith, thank you. Well, a couple years back.